Below the ribbon is an area referred to as the formula bar. And of course, that does relate to Excel formulas, but it has a broader meaning as well. In the current screen, the active cell is in E2. I'm going to start typing the word preliminary. As soon as I put in a letter, we see that letter here. We also see it appearing in the formula bar. In a sense, the formula bar really is like an additional depiction of what's in any given cell at any given time. For example, if you use either arrow keys or with the mouse, if you go to a different cell, here's the word sage. We see it right here in cell E7. We also see it in the formula bar. But one of the things that you'll get used to as you work with worksheets that have formulas in them is I press the right arrow here and move to cell I7. I7 shows us a value, 28,440, but more important perhaps is the idea that that really is a formula. Think of the formula bar as being an indicator as to what's going on within a worksheet. And it's a habit you'll quickly develop. It's almost second nature to glance into the formula bar because it's very important to recognize that a cell even though it might contain a value, really, in some cases, like in this one, isn't a value, it's a formula. So you want to keep an eye on that. So the formula bar, we rely upon to remind us what's in a given cell. It's not always the data that we're seeing in the cell itself. Sometimes it's a formula.